Shalom. First of all, most like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, eldest while I came while I and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Amos 8 and 11 through verse. Uh, yeah, Amos 11 through verse 12. And this is the book of Amos, chapter 11. Uh, so I can, my apology, slip of the tongue of words. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8 and verse 11. It reads through the Holy Scriptures. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine or bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord. All right, because just like that took place in ancient times, you know, of our great forefather, great forefather uh, prophet Amos, you know, the prophet was on the scene during those times. You know, Israel was, uh, especially the tribes, you know, they were supposed to take heed to the words of the Heavenly Father. And, you know, and the prophets, our great forefathers, they was on the scene, they was warning the Israelites of the famine was going to hit, you know, for lack of bread, for lack of water. But, but hearing the words of, of the Lord, you know, and I believe they didn't take heed to it. And then that famine hit, that pestilence and famine hit, you know. This scripture says, uh, Ezekiel 33 and verse 33, then they shall know that the prophet was among you. That's why it's important for us Israelites to hear the words of the Heavenly Father of Yahweh Israel and take heed to it and come back to being the Israelites and keep ahead of the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, to the best of our ability. So this modern day famine of the word is definitely going to hit, you know, right along with for lack of bread, for lack of water, for lack of resources. But the hearing of the words of the Lord, that's why it says in Isaiah 55 and verse 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Children of Israel, which is us, the twelve tribes of Israel, the actual lineage and bloodline descendants of the Heavenly Father. You know, the Israelites, the children of Israel. And this is uh, Amos 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land. It's like in ancient times, and we'll see that in modern day times as well, too. Not a famine or bread nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord, Yahweh. And this is uh, Amos 8, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, nor even to the north, even to the east. And they shall run to and fro, shall not fail. Um, it's like one of those um, county care it's like, where you go to the doctor for? Uh, yeah, health care plans. But you can use this like for uh like purchasing groceries groceries and stuff like that. Like they saying on TV? Mm-hmm. This is what this for, yeah. What? Mm hmm But he got the activated, ain't he? Yeah, it's already activated. What? Where you just stated anything? Mm-hmm. Yep. Or do it like a swipe. You yep. got the papers in there. Yep. Cause it's, it's already activated already. Cause he had a call. Yeah, but he's been looking at getting some food with.